Several claims are often made about Revelation 1-7 concerning Christ's return. One of the claims is that every person on earth will see Jesus in his former body coming in the clouds when Christ returns. This actually contradicts what is stated, as I will show later. Further, this would, in effect, deny that the man Christ Jesus actually offered his body of flesh to God for our sins. I will not discuss this in this video, but I do have links in the description area that present more details about this. In Revelation 1-7, Jesus included those who pierced him as seeing him coming in clouds of glory. In order for them to see this, they would first have to be raised from the dead. Thus, it refers to a time after Jesus' presence has begun, not unless one would believe that the resurrection takes place before the presence begins. The full application of the prophecy thus will have to take place after those who pierced him are resurrected, during the last day the world's day of judgment. Then, not only will those who pierced Jesus mourn and weep, but also all the tribes of the earth mourn. Nevertheless, for them to see Christ coming in the clouds, this event would have to take place, not at the beginning of his presence, for they are not raised from the dead before Jesus returns, but some time after Christ returns. During the first part of the days of Christ, the days of Christ's presence, while he is revealed to those taking note, the people in general are not aware of his presence, and continue to go about their affairs without taking note, similar to the people during the days of Noah before the flood came and took them away. This can be seen by comparing Matthew chapter 24, verses 37 to 41 with Luke chapter 17, verses 26 to 36. Again, I will not go into detail about this here, but I am giving links in the description area of his video. The revealing of who Jesus is, to those who pierced Jesus, has to take place some time after Satan is abyssed as shown in Revelation chapter 20, verse 3. When those who pierced Jesus are raised in the resurrection of the unjust, then they will know and understand that the one they pierced is the one Jehovah anointed and sent, as shown in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The recognition of who Jesus is, will lead to their mournful state. In Revelation 1-7, Jesus comes with heavenly clouds. This parallels Daniel 7-23. These clouds could represent darkness, but more than likely they represent him coming with the glory of a new day, as it appears to be referring to in Matthew chapter 24, verse 30, with the glory of position that has been given to him from the one God of 1 Corinthians 8 6, the one person who is God in Hebrews 1 1. It is the God and Father of Jesus who has made Jesus both Lord and Christ, and has exalted him to the highest position of glory in the universe far above the angels, next to the only Most High. See the description area for related scriptures. Nevertheless, 
there is nothing in Revelation 1-7 that says that Jesus returns in his former body.